First, let us draw some ray diagrams. Image formation by a concave mirror for different positions of the object. Case 1. If the position of the object is at the infinity, the position of the image will be at the focus F. The size of the image is highly diminished and point sized. The nature of the image is real and inverted. Case 2. If the position of the object is beyond C, the position of the image will be between F and C. The size of the image is diminished. The nature of the image is real and inverted. Case 3. If the position of the object at C, the position of the image will be at C. The size of the image will be same as object. The nature of the image is real and inverted. Case 4. If the position of the object is between C and F, the position of the image will be at beyond C. The size of the image will be enlarged. The nature of the image is real and inverted. Case 5. If the position of the object is at F, the position of the image will be at infinity. The size of the image will be highly enlarged and the nature of image is real and inverted. Case 6. If the position of the object is between P and F, the position of the image will be behind the mirror. The size of the image will be enlarged and the nature of image is virtual and direct. Uses of concave mirrors Concave mirrors are used as shaving mirrors, dentist mirrors. They are also used in the reflectors of torchlights and vehicle lights. Now, we will see the image formation by concave mirror. Here we consider only two positions of the object for studying the image formed by concave mirror. Case 1. If the position of the object is at infinity, the position of the image will be at the focus behind the mirror. The size of the image is highly diminished and point sized. The nature of the image is virtual and direct. Case 2. If the position of the object is between infinity and the pole of the mirror, the position of the image will be between P and F behind the mirror. The size of the image is diminished. The nature of the image is virtual and erect. Uses of Convex Mirrors They are used as rear view mirrors in vehicles because they always forms an erect image and have wider field of view as they are curved outwards. Sign Convention for Reflection by Spherical Mirror The sign convention for spherical mirrors is a set of rules used to determine the sign either positive or negative of various distances and quantities involved. This convention is important for calculating the image distances, object distances and to find magnification. Object Placement The object is always placed to the left of the mirror, indicating that the light from the object approaches the mirror from the left side. Measurement from the pole Distances parallel to the principal axis are measured from the mirror's pole. The pole is the point where the mirror surface intersects the principal axis. Direction of measurement All distances measured to the right of the origin along the positive x-axis are considered positive, while those measured to the left of the origin along the negative x-axis are considered negative. This helps in determining the position of the object and image relative to the mirror. Height above the principal axis Distances measured perpendicular to and above the principal axis along the positive y-axis are considered positive. This is used to determine the heights of the objects and images above or below the principal axis. Height below the principal axis Distances measured perpendicular to and below the principal axis along the negative y-axis are considered negative. This convention ensures that heights below the principal axis are assigned negative values. These sign conventions are fundamental for analyzing and solving problems related to spherical mirrors. Mirror formula and magnification The mirror formula is particularly useful for determining the position and characteristics of an image formed by a mirror. The mirror formula is a fundamental equation used to relate the object distance u and the image distance v and the focal length f of a spherical mirror. It is expressed as 1 by v plus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f, where f is the focal length of the mirror, 
V is the image distance, means the distance from the mirror to the image. And U is the object distance, that is the distance from the mirror to the object. Magnification Magnification refers to the ratio of an image to the height of an object. It is denoted by letter M. That means it is the comparison of the size of the image with respect to the size of the object. That is height of the image H dash by height of the object H means M is equal to H dash by H. The height of the object should be taken as positive since it is usually placed above the principal axis. The height of the image should be taken as positive if the image is virtual and should be taken negative if the image is real. That means if the image is on the side of the object. We can also find magnification by comparing the image distance and object distance. We know that image distance means the distance between the mirror and the image. And object distance means the distance between the mirror and the object. So magnification is equal to image distance by object distance. That means M is equal to minus V by U.